Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Angelica. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. We are only. <laughs> no, we are here. We are. We are together. I was changing my background. Hello, how are you? It's a pleasure to have you here in this private class just for Angelica. Hey, I, li I like your background, families, everything. I love it. What a beautiful thing. Thank you. And they are pictures or they are like, they are, they are pictures for There are pictures from my family. Oh, that's nice. But I, I have a, the question. They are just pictures or they are frames? Son cuadros o solo las fotos? Eh, son um, frames about, no sé cómo se dice, como cartoncillo. Oh. Eh, lo venden en el Dollar City. <laughs> hey, but they look nice. Hello, Mr. Jairo. <laughs> Jairo igual tiene un background muy Hello. Hi. I was talking Sorry. about the background of Angelica. Acerca del fondo que tiene de las fotos. It looks very beautiful. I don't know how to be. <laughs> ah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. I am going to. Ah, sí, sí. Ya lo vi. There you go. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Thank you. Yes, it's very nice. Well, my dear students, it's a pleasure to have you here in another class. There you have Mr. Jairo giving us carita with the coffee. Oh my, do you have to work all night? Oh my God. Yes. No. And what do you have to do? Uh, um, oh my God. And then correct. Hacer otra cosa más, ese tipo una. Oh my God. Pero mañana ya no trabaja de día, o sí. Siempre. Sí, a las 8 tengo que estar disponible. Oh my God. What a, what a difficult thing, my God. Sí. Well, yes, but as, as you are very dedicated, I know you. Sí. But do you, do you like what you do? Yes. No, that's important, right? That's important. When you like what you do, then uh, it, it is worth, right? It is worth sí. the effort. It's a custom. It, yes, it's a matter of, of, yeah, when you get used to something, then you really enjoy it. Well, but I hope you survive the complete night working. Yes. <laughs> jueves de la semana pasada que no, no, no estuve en clase uh -huh. ese día inicié a las 7 de la noche y terminé a las 7 de la mañana del siguiente día oh my god <risa> <risa> ni yo cuando traducía cartas <risa> ay no <risa> yeah. I, I used to work I used to work as a, as a translator and uh, as an interpreter but I used to translate letters from English Ooh, to Spanish, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was the complete night. One night, I just fell asleep on the computer. How many letters did you translate? Well, it, it, was, it was packages of 100. What? It was terrible. 100. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> Ese día que me dormí en la compu, llené como 10 páginas de letras K. <laughs> and my mother was like, are you okay? And I was like, oh, what day is to? Oh my God, the letters. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> I was in the middle of the package. That was very sad. Yeah. Well, so you see, all the different jobs are difficult. They are very, very, very yes. difficult and time consuming as well. Well, my dear students, today we are going to finish working on the topic of the food, right? Yesterday we were talking about the adverse of frequency and let me just open it. Wait. 
Let me see. Okay, okay. Let me just open my book. Let's see. Oh, we are going to work on a little bit of reading right now. Let me open it for you. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Here it is. There you go. We're going to work a little bit on reading. No, no, invito a Angelito a comer. No se veo. Me agarraron con el pan. Lo saco el pan. Por angelito. Por angelito was like in the middle of the bread there. Okay, so we're going to work a little bit on a, a, we're going to work a bit on reading, right? We're going to bit to work a little bit on reading and we are going to have reading about food. And here you have, we have traditions of food in different countries, right? Here we have the first one that it says eating for good luck, eating for good luck. And here we have the first one. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods end and begin again like years. The next one. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. The next one is about bread and it says, Greeks eat basilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. The problem is if you swallow the coin, right? <laughs> No, not very lucky, right? It is not very lucky. The next one. Here we have, in Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the year. Admito, en El Salvador es like, si son las 12 y uno ya no se cumple, no. <laughs> With the 12 grapes, right? It, I have seen that. <laughs> On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. And the last one, it says, some Americans from Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the green are like dollars. So they believe that because they have the coins and the dollars, they are going to have a good luck in the new year. Do you know other traditions that people have for new year? Do you know any other tradition that people have for new year? that they believe that it's going to be good or beneficial? Um, it, uh, the people use a uh, color red for <laughs> the love. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, yellow for the money. Yes. So they, they wear different colors, right? Depending yeah. on what they want to get on the new year. Why why do people eat tangerines in China? Why do people eat tangerines? Why do they eat tangerines? You have the information right there. Uh, it because it's around uh, because round. it's round and uh, round foods end and begin again like the year so they represent the year with the tangerine because it's round right what is the tradition of jewish people with apples why do they eat apples with honey why it's for a new, uh, new year it's for a sweet new year for a sweet new year. Very good. 
What about the Greek people? Why do they eat basilopita? Why do they have this bread with the coin inside? For a look. For, look. For, uh, for luck. Luck. For luck. For luck and money and in the money. Near. In the near. Yeah, the problem is the coin. <laughs> And the last one, why do people eat 12 grapes at midnight in Latin America? For a good look in each good month. Luck. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. If you say good look, it's with the eyes, right? Good look. Good, uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. And the next one, why do people eat rice cakes? Uh, why do Japanese people eat rice cakes? For a strength in the new year. For a strength in the new year. What is the meaning of a strength? Fuerte, fuerza. Fuerza, exactly like that. Very good job. Excellent, Gustavo. And the next one, it says, some people in uh, the Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. What are the um, similarities that they can see in the food? What are the similarities that they think when they see the food? The, the black eyed peas are? Are coins, coins. Like, like, coins. like coins and like the green greens green are like dollars. Are like like dollars. dollars. Good. So, in these cases, we have different traditions for New Year's Day. Do you have any special tradition with your family? What is a special tradition that you have in your family? Teacher, uh, yes? my, my family and me. And uh, I? And, uh, and I uh, drink wine. You drink wine for New Year. Exactly. Very good job. Any other tradition? In my case, eat uh, 12 grapes. You eat 12, 12 grapes. At, yes. At midnight. Very good. Yeah. So you eat 12 grapes at midnight. Any other tradition that you have in your families? Traditions, traditions that you have with your families? How do you say reventar cohetes a las doce? <laughs> well, that is to burn fireworks. I'm going mm -hmm. to send it on the chat. To burn fireworks. I Sorry, fireworks. Fireworks, that's the way it is, fireworks to burn fireworks at midnight, you say. At midnight is a las doce, at midnight. Very good. Any other tradition? Do you have any special tradition, something special that you do? No? Mm -mm. My family and I For dance. <laughs> we dance a lot. Jairo, which is the tradition that you have? The wine, right? No, it's not. Yeah, but in my case, uh, I my family don't have any tradition in specific. So you don't, you don't have any specific thing for for New no. Year. No, drink, drink cold beer. You drink cold beer <laughs> for sure. That's a very good tradition. Very nice. Santa buena. Doesn't shut. Today, well, shot of the killer. Today he mm -hmm. well, this year he is going to invite all the group to celebrate New Year. Okay. We, we will go to El Tunco, right? <laughs> to celebrate. <laughs> Salvador <laughs> is going to create the drinks because he's the bartender. Okay. <laughs> he is going to prepare all the drinks for uh, for the night. Well. Would, uh, we're going to start working today a little bit on uh, sports and abilities. This is going to be uh, our final session. And let me share with you my screen.
the final section of uh, the five sections that we need to work, sports and abilities. And when you think about this, I just come and have a little question. Well, I am going to start with a question and then I will go with the question about food. The first question, as I have many boys here in Angelica, do you like sports? Do you like sports people? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. What is your favorite sport? Ride a bike. Okay, mm. bike riding. Very good. No, bike riding. Mm. Bike riding. And My favorite sport is football soccer. Okay, soccer. Soccer, just like soccer. that. In English, it's okay. soccer. Good, okay. very good. Another one. In my case, soccer and football. Soccer and football, American football. Yes, yes. What is your favorite team in American football? Uh, two, two teams, uh -huh. Kansas City Chief and Los Angeles Ram. Very good job. <laughs> very, very good teams, very good teams. I like American football too. It's, it's very interesting, farther than soccer, right? Yes. I like soccer too, so don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite sport, eh, Gustavo? My favorite sport, maybe foot, no, soccer. Soccer, good. Ivan, what is your favorite sport? Um, soccer too. Soccer, very good. <laughs> eh, Mr. Gerardo, you say it's soccer, right? Angelica, yeah. what is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is basketball. Basketball, very nice. Elmer? Uh, my favorite sport is martial arts. Martial arts, very nice. Yeah. Marvin likes yeah. bike riding. And Salvador, what is your favorite sport? Boston. Uh, <laughs> this, this uh, hey, he's there. Yeah. Soccer. Soccer, soccer teacher. Very it's good job. <laughs> okay, good. Soccer. You know, I like also um, billiards or pool. Oh, pool. I yeah. like pool. It's very, very nice. But here in El Salvador, it's like, oh, Shmire, le gusta el billar a la muchacha. Mm. It's like, come on. It's, it's really nice. It's very interesting. It has strategies and everything. I like it a lot. So, I like a pool too. The next question is very curious because it makes you think about the different things that you are good at, but you don't recognize. What is your best ability? Sleep. <laughs> Sleeping is not an ability. <laughs> That's a talent. <laughs> what, what is your best ability? Singing, dancing, cooking, I don't know, a painting. Uh, eating. Eating. <laughs> eating. Eating is a talent. <laughs> That's not an ability. <laughs> what is your best ability? I, nothing. Well, my best ability is public speaking. I can speak in front of any audience that I don't get scared. I just love doing it. Pueden ser 5, 10, 15, 20, 1,000, 2,000 personas that I, I just love public speaking. And I can, I can do it. I mean, it's something that I like. And I am very good at creating things on, on programs, right? Like creating pictures or decorations or whatever thing there. So I think that's my ability. What is your best ability? Think about it. Singing, dancing, cooking, uh, organizing, decorating, um, hairstyling, using the computer, playing video games, uh, writing poems. What is your best ability? Mr. Jairo? Pikachu. Okay. <laughs> Amitamos eso. Ah, Gerardo, what is your best ability? Es imposible. I don't have any idea. And what about the computer skills? 
Ay, no, yo no tengo habilidades y en la compu. Sí, yeah, no. Pero, o sea, ¿habilidades para qué? Parece ver, que no lo pongo porque habilidades para, para hackear, para usar, <risa> para... Ajá. No, but that, those are abilities. Those are abilities. Using the computer is an ability because there are many people who are scared to touch a computer because they say, si la toco la quemo. Se arruina. <laughs> so, but that's an ability. Ah, okay. In my case, uh, it's use the computer. Using the computer. Good. Using or use. Okay, the two, the two ways are possible, right? My best ability is to use the computer or my best ability is using the computer. The two of them are correct. Mr. Gustavo, any special ability that you have? Mm, I'm going to use the examples. How do you say my ability is? My ability is? Cooking or cook? Both of them. Uh, or okay. you can say, I am good at, I am good at, it's like soy bueno. I am good at cooking. I am good at writing. I am good at singing. So you can express your abilities like that. Okay, I am good. I am good at reading and cooking. Very good, reading and cooking. Angelica, what is your best ability? I am good um, organizing. At organizing, good, very nice. Yeah. So you are good at decorating the house and everything. Yeah, I, I can see it <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Mister Ivan, what is your best ability? My best ability at swing. Swing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can just like dog style uh, <laughs> and I survive. <laughs> no, I can swim a little bit. Good. So you are good at swimming. That's very nice. Mr. Uh, Gerardo. How do you say uh, diseñar, design? Des design. Okay. I am good at designing, okay? Designing. In the computer. Yeah. In I, the computer, in the Photoshop. Ah, at Photoshop, hey, eh? good, very yeah. nice. Any retoque ahí con Gerardo. Elmer Rivera, what is your best ability? Uh, I am good uh, ability is um, use computer. My best ability is my to best, use the computer. Yeah, my best ability. Very nice to use the computer. You can work with height. <laughs> Marvin, what is your best ability? Mm, my best ability is a paint. Paint. Yes. Right. Very nice. Painting. Very painting good. Painting the house. <laughs> painting the house, right? That's an ability. That's an ability. I can I know some people who can paint a complete house with just like a five gallon. Uh, bucket and, mm. the, and that's an ability. I mean, yo me acabo la cubeta en un cuarto. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, era para toda la casa. Like, ah, era. <laughs> era. <laughs> Salvador, what is your best ability? <clears throat> hey, wait, wait, espérame que tengo un accidente aquí. Canino. <laughs> Sorry. My best ability is to fight with my dog. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Accidents happen. So, Salvador, what is your best ability? To prepare shots. <laughs> In many to movies, it. this phrase, this, uh, how do you say, phrase? Phrase? Faith is different. <laughs> Which one? Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and it's, it, that, that is useful when you have accidents that you didn't predict. But it's not appropriate, right? I wouldn't say it, but yeah. <laughs> it was like my dog was taking the computer, the charger, everything with her. So, abilities. In some cases, we consider that we are not good at something and we do have many abilities, right? 
maybe some people are good at running and some other people are not good at running. If you see me running, run, because something is happening. <laughs> Porque yo normalmente no corro. <laughs> si me ven correr, corran. So some people are good at dancing and some other people cannot dance at all, right? Some people are good at driving and some other people, I mean, we cannot do it. Some people can ride bikes and there are other people who cannot do it. Who can ride a bike here? Raise your hand if you can ride a bike. I will take it down because I can't. <laughs> Elmer can ride a bike. How do you say in English, bicicleta estacionaria? <laughs> a stationary <laughs> bike. Okay. I can do that. I practice the sport. <laughs> yeah, I practice that one too because the normal one, I can't. Who can drive a car? Uh, I. Only automatic because the normal one, <clears throat> I can't. Who can climb trees? Subirse los árboles. I can't. Ya no estoy en edad para eso. So, so. <laughs> so, so. Tree. Depending on the tree, right? Depending, because if it is a, a mombing tree. A, a, co a coconut. A coconut tree, hey. No, ya me da ver, tío. <laughs> Do you know what is parachute? Parachute, yeah, paracaidismo. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice. I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't really imagine myself jumping on a parachute. No, that, <laughs> it's that very is, exciting. I think that's another level of life that I haven't unblocked. <laughs> it's another level of the game that I haven't unblocked. But parachute. In my, case, in my yeah. case, it's one thing in my bucket list. Oh, you have it on the bucket list. No, I, I think I don't have it even on, on the bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> No, ni a la Chicago me subo. I don't imagine in the parachute. But ya no estoy en edad para ruedas. No, my no, the blood pressure, no. With a Coca-Cola next to you, because if not, we die there. <laughs> so there you go. Just to wrap up a little bit on the topic that we started yesterday, we have a couple of questions. And I need you to ask the question to another friend in the class. Here, I am going to ask Gustavo. Choose a question and choose a person. Kind of food. Kind, kind, okay? It's kind mm. of food. Kind. What's your favorite kind of food? To me? No, no, no. Ah, in general. <laughs> to whom? But choose a person. Escoge una persona y escoge la pregunta. A Jairo. Okay, Jairo. Okay. Uh, question <clears throat> number one. What is your favorite kind of food? Oh, fuck. <laughs> so many. It's so many kind of food because I like Mexican food, Chinese food, Italian food. And yeah, this, this is. The, the, all this kind of food. Like <laughs> all this kind of food. Oh. Jairo, choose another person and another question. Okay. Eh, Elmer, Marvin, Gerardo, Iván, Angelita, Salvador, Gustavo, Teacher Nat. Uh, Marvin. Okay. Eh, do you ever make a dinner for your family? Dinner. Dinner or dinner? Dinner. Okay. Um, do you ever make dinner for your family? No. 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 No.
Es bien esporádico. So you say no. Eh, I almost no. never, you say. Okay. Never. Mm. Marvin, another person, another question. Okay. Um, veamos. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Iván. Iván, ajá. Uh, yes. uh, what's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Favorite. What's your favorite, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is uh, Pollo Campero. Hey, yeah. Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero no nos paga nada, pero se comienza. Good. <laughs> Iván. Pensión no pagada. <laughs> another person, another question. Go ahead. Uh, Angelica. Angelica, ajá. Uh -huh. What's your favorite snack? My favorite snack is. No se vale tacos. Y nachos. Pancito. My favorite snack is. Churrito. Ah, hey. <laughs> so they are, uh, well, my favorite snack are uh, <laughs> snacks. Tortillas <laughs> jalapenos. Yes. Chips, no. Chips, they are called chips. Chips is in general for all these churritos thing. With lemon. Uh, churritos with lemon. I have never tried them. <laughs> but no, no, no. They, they might be good. Little. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no, but imagine churritos with lemon. I think they might be good. We never know. Mm. Not todo. Well. Yes, eh. <laughs> Nacho. Nachos with lemon, yes. Angelica. Nachos with lemon, sir. Another person, another question. The microphone. There um, we go. I see. Elmer. Gerardo. Salvador. Elmer. Elmer, what's your favorite restaurant? Oh, my favorite restaurant is uh, Burger King. Good. <laughs> Burger King, very nice. Elmer, yeah. another person, another question. Okay, let me see. Um, Mr. Gerardo or Mr. Salvador? Eh, Salvador. Salvador. Uh, what do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? Good question. Salvador a la una, Salvador a la dos, Salvador a las tres. Gerardo, what do you usually have in your favorite restaurant? Uh, uh, a usually restaurant uh, is the French food. Uh, the name is Le Poutine. Wow, French food. Sí. Where is it? Es un, su, suena bien piquis, pero no es piquis. Es un restaurante que está en el escalón que te sirve. Eh, It's good. It's good. Eh, potatoes with. Ajá, potatoes with. Exactamente. Yeah. Exactamente. Yeah. exactamente. Yeah. Potatoes with. Papas with. y una camita como de carne, camarones y es bien rico. Yeah. Y súper barato, yeah. vale cuatro dólares el plato. Wow. It's Canadian food. No. Canadian food. It's Canadian food, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, but it's it's very delicious. I have heard about it. I had never visited, but I am I am very interested more than you if you recommend it. Mr. Gerardo, question for your teacher. Teacher, what's your favorite snack? My favorite snack is well, let me think. What is my favorite snack? Mango, I think. Mango with lemon. <laughs> Only <laughs> That one, or uh, if you have, well, uh, to be honest, my favorite snack are minutas. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite, but now with COVID and the pandemic, I think I change my, for my favorite snack because I mean, people touching the, uh, the minuta, maybe not. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I change it. And now fruit, fruit with lemon and, and chili, that's my favorite snack. If not, popcorn. Popcorns are very good. Teacher, uh, yes? what do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? You know, my favorite restaurant is my house. 
<laughs> and here I love to cook pupusas for my family. I cooking. Yeah. Yes, I love to cook pupusas for everybody. So that's what I have. And when I go to my favorite restaurant, uh, I usually have a potato chips because I love Burger King. <laughs> it's very delicious, but I like the potato chips of Burger King. The French fries of Burger King. Mm -hmm. And they are very good. So that's what I have on my favorite restaurant. But here in my house, pupusas. So we are going to talk a little bit about sports. When we talk about sports, we have a whole variety of different sports, right? But we have three specific verbs that we use with them. When you use play, you use it with a specific sports, right? A specific sports that include a ball, right? Soccer, football, baseball, basketball, tennis, hockey, right? Those are the ones that you use with play. The ones that you use with go are all the sports that are related with ING forms, skating, riding, cycling, sur uh, surfing, bungee jumping, diving, dancing, all of them. You say, I go, I go swimming, I go cycling, I go skating, I go surfing. You don't say I play surfing, I play swimming. No, that's not possible. And do is for all the activities that you, uh, on which you don't have to use a ball and that do not end in ING. For example, you say, I do karate, I do yoga, I do ballet, do Zumba, right? I do Zumba, I don't take Zumba, okay? I do Zumba, I, I do a puzzle, no agarre, do, okay? Do Zumba, do karate, do gymnastics, do athletics, and also when uh, you use aerobics, you do aerobics, you don't play aerobics or you don't go aerobics, you do. What is the sport that you uh, most commonly practice? You can say, I play basketball, I go swimming, or I do aerobics. What is the sport that you practice? And if you don't practice, invent one. I play basketball. I play basketball. Good. Another uh, example. And uh -huh. go cycling. I play basketball and I go cycling. Good. Very um, good. And I do a uh, sudoku. I do sudokus. Yeah, me too. <laughs> they are very nice. Mm -hmm. Another example. Gustavo, which ones would you choose? With play, with going, with do. Okay. I play the guitar. Good. Uh, except for I don't play <laughs> anything. And I was like, ah, qué bonito. I, <laughs> okay. uh, I go swimming Good. and I do a puzzle. Puzzle? You do a puzzle, puzzle, puzzle from the puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. puzzle. Good, Gerardo. Your examples. Uh, play a card. I play cards. You say I, I play, play card. cards. Uh, I go cycling. E... I I do yoga. I do yoga, you say. Yes. I do yoga. Yes, you can use it like that. I do I... yoga. Okay, another one. Mr. Jairo. I play computer. I play computer games. Very good. Computer games. Uh, uh, go dancing. I go dancing. Good. And I do a crossword. You do a crossword puzzle. Right, you do a crossword puzzle. Very nice. Let me see who's next. Who is next? Next, next, next. I do, I do aerobics. I do aerobics, good. And I, I go swimming. I go swimming, good. 
And okay. I do. With do. Which one do you have with do? I do aerobics. I do aerobics. I go swimming and I play basketball. You said. That. And I play basketball. Yeah. Very good. What about you, Ivan? Uh, I play basketball. Very good. I go uh, swimming. I go swimming. Yes. Uh, I do uh, athletics. I do athletics. Good. And the next okay. one. Who's next? Who am I missing? Que me falta? Que me falta? I play computer game. I play computer games. Very good. Um, I go running. I go running. Very good. And I do karate. And you do karate. Yay. Karate. Right, you do yeah. karate. Very nice. So I am going to continue sharing here. And here we are going to practice a little conversation. Can you see the conversation? Yes. 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 And it says, I love sports, right? I love sports. And it says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's like okay no I don't this, is my, <laughs> this is I my case I don't play sports okay pronunciation questions of the conversation any athlete. question athlete 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 athlete, athlete. 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 any athlete. other one I think that's the most difficult one. And favorites. Ho ho hockey, 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 baseball. Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to go and I'm going to practice it one by one with each of you. I am going to start with Angelica because of ladies first, okay? Aquí se aplica. Ladies first because you are the only lady. Okay, so Angelica, what do you do in your free time? Uh, you continue the conversation. Well, Solo porque no te digo well, Justin, I porque... like <laughs> really, what sports do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Thank you very much, Angelica. Very nice. Now, Angelica with Gustavo. Go ahead. So, Gustavo, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are, are my favorites. Well, you're well. You're a really good athlete. Athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Very good job. Now, Gustavo with Ivan. Gustavo, you start. Okay. Uh, so, Ivan, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do, do you like? Um, basketball, soccer, and hockey are my, my favorites. Wow, you are you are really you are really a good athlete. You are when a you, really good athlete. You are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play the sport. I just watch them uh, on television. Very nice job, very good. Now, Ivan and Jairo. So Jairo, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? 
mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. Athlete, athlete. Athlete, athlete. When do you play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. He feels it, right? Hi, Don yeah. Gerardo, go ahead. So, Gerardo, what do you do in your, in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorite. Favorites. Favorite. Favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play <clears throat> in this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good job, Don Gerardo and Elmer. So, Elmer, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all them sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good job. Now, Elmer and Marvin. So, Marvin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. 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 Wow. You are a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good job. Now, Marvin, Salvador, are you there? So, Salvador, <laughs> what do you do? Continue, continue. If he answers, if not, I will go with you. Okay, what do you do in your free time? Everybody waiting for Salvador. Oh, Salvador. Uh, well, I love sports. Uh, really? <laughs> what sport do you like? Well, um, hockey, baseball, soccer, and swimming are my favorite. Wow, you're really good athlete. When do you play at this sport? Well, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> Okay. Thank nice. you. Thank you, Salvador. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Salvador Nati, right? Good. Very good. Now, I have here three little papers. One, two, and three. Because Angelica is the only lady besides me on the group, I am going to give Angelica the chance to choose one of the three papers. One, two, or three. Um, what number two. do you want? Number two. Okay. <laughs> Number two says that we are angry. Turn, turn, turn. Angry. <laughs> okay. So, students, what do you do in your free time? Everybody's angry. Todos estamos enojados. So, <laughs> students, what do you do in your free time? Wow. Well, I'm angry. angry. I no, no estoy en enojado usted. Well, I love sports, <laughs> you have to say. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to know. So, students, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love well, sports. I love sports. Yeah, I love sports. I love really? Sports. What sports do you like? Mm. Okay, okay. Nice okay. Nice 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 sports. Sports. Okay. 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 Just my brain body. Wow, you're a really okay. good athlete. When, when do you do play you all these play sports? All this sport? Oh, I don't I don't watch television. Okay, you are very angry with me. Ese, ese tipo de no quisiera yo. Let's do the next one. We are going to be in love. It's because the paper is green. In love. <laughs> so, my dear students, what do you do in your free time, sweeties? <laughs> I, I love sports. 
<laughs> really? Oh, really? What sports do you like? Oh, okay. Hockey, baseball, 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 baseball
Elmer, you told me that you like to ride a bike, right? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. who who do you practice these sports with? Who do you practice these sports with? Um, I practice uh, with my friend. I practice with my friend, right? Where do you practice? Yeah. Where do you uh, practice? In the park. In the park. How often do you practice? Uh, every day in the morning. Every day in the morning. And what time do you start? At, I start at 5 or till 6 a.m. From 5 to 6 in the morning. Good. Very good. <clears throat> yeah. Excellent answers. Very nice job. Here, we are going to go with Mr. Gerardo. What sports do you play, Gerardo? I play football and yoga. Okay, let's take yoga. Who do you practice yoga with? Uh, three times on the week. No, who? Who do you practice oh. with? Con quien? Ah, con quien? Y the partner gym? With the partner of the gym. Good. So the question, where do you practice? Uh, I practice yoga in the gym. At the gym. Very good. And what time do you practice? Uh, I practice three times in the week. Okay. That is how often? How often do you practice three times on the week? And okay. what time? Ah, que horas? Uh, p.m. At 8 p.m. Good. Very good job. Mr. Gustavo, what sports do you play? I play football. You play football. Who do you play with? I play with my neighborhood. With my neighbors. With my neighbors. 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 Where do you play? I play at park. At the park, good. At the park. Yeah. How often do you practice? We practice um, a week. Once or twice a week? Okay, once, once a week. Once a week. Yes. And the last one, uh, what time do you practice? I practice... Um, 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. Good, very good. I am going to go with Mr. Ivan. Mr. Ivan, what sports do you practice? What sports do you practice? Ah, okay. I practice uh, soccer. Okay, I practice soccer. Where do you play? Uh, I play in... in how do you say cancha? At the soccer field. At oh, okay. the soccer field. Okay. At the soccer field. And when do you practice? Uh, I practice um, on uh, Saturday. On Saturdays. Very good. What time do you play? I play at uh, six o'clock. At six o'clock, very good. So let's read the examples that I have here on the book. And it says, what sports do you play? What is the answer? I play, I play hockey, and play and baseball. hockey and baseball. Very good. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some I friends, play from, with work. Some friends from, work. from work. We have a team. We have a team, very we good. Team. Where do you play? We play, we play uh, at the Park. Hunter Park. Yeah. Hunter Park. We play Park. at Hunter Park. Very good. How often do you practice? We practice once, once, or, once or, twice or twice a week. A week. Uh, when do you practice? We practice, we practice on Sunday. Sunday. And what time do you start? 
We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so before we go, tell me one sport that you will never practice. One sport that you will never practice. That you say, ah, no, that one, no. One sport that you will never practice. Box. Boxing. <laughs> It's very dangerous, right? Chess. Is chess. Yes. It's boring or it's complicated. Let's see, Angelica. One sport that you will never practice. Karate. 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 Very good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gustavo. I never. I never practice hockey. Hockey. Elmer. One sport that you would never practice? Um, it's hockey. I don't like. Oh, you don't like hockey. Good. No. Marvin, one sport that you would uh, never practice? I never practice chess. 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 <laughs> chess. 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 <laughs> okay. Hey, Mr. Gerardo, one sport that you would never practice? I never practice baseball. Baseball. Good. Very good. I think Marvin is hungry. And so Ooh. I am going to give you the chance to go and eat something. Yo creo que Marvin tiene hambre. Vaya a comer acá. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for the last class of the week. Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot. Mr. Jairo, best of luck on your night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a Bye. beautiful Bye. night. Bye. 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 Bye.